Robin Hood Radio presents the commentary of Don Morrison. Don is a former editor at Time Magazine. He's an author, lecturer, and member of the Berkshire Eagle Advisory Board. Years ago, I went to Ukraine to see the Great Gate of Kiev, that capital city now called by its Ukrainian name, Kiev is facing possible obliteration by Russia, but its famous gate will probably endure. Here's why. In 1870, a young Russian artist and architect named Viktor Hartmann entered a design competition. It was for an ornamental gate to commemorate a failed assassination attempt against the Tsar. Hartmann won, but he died soon after. A show of his work was organized by friends in Moscow. One of them, the composer Modest Mussorgsky, was so moved that he wrote Pictures at an Exhibition. That ten-part suite translates some of Hartmann's paintings into music. Its final and most famous piece, inspired by that prize-winning design, is called The Great Gate of Kiev. You know, da 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 Anyway, it helped put Kiev on the map for my wife and me. We were studying in London at the time. It was the height of the Cold War. For summer break, we drove through the Soviet Union, America's sworn enemy. One of our first stops was Kiev. But when we asked about the gate, the locals would shrug. It doesn't exist. After Hartmann's death, the Tsar lost interest in the project. His son and successor was ousted in 1915 by the communists. There, Soviet Union collapsed in 1991, and Ukraine became an independent democracy. Now another Tsar, Vladimir Putin, wants to make Kyiv and Ukraine part of a restored Russian empire. The U.S. and its European allies, unwilling to risk a nuclear war, feel there's not much we can do militarily. But maybe there are other things. Mussorgsky turned his friend's dream, a gate that never got built, into a monument that has lived in minds and hearts for generations. So why can't we enshrine Putin's aggression as a crime that echoes through the ages that merits eternal infamy? Rather than stand by helplessly, let's make sure that Ukraine, like the great gate of Kiev, like democracy, is a treasure that will, one way or another, endure. I'm Don Morrison. Don Morrison is an author and editor. He's taught at universities in the United States, Europe, and Asia. He's the European editor of the British magazine Port and a member of the Berkshire Eagle Advisory Board. He lives in Paris, Miami, and in Berkshire County. <laughs>